Hi everyone, this is Daria, CEO and co-founder at Airmo. And at Airmo, we're building single source of truth for greenhouse gas emissions monitoring using power of space technology. Uh, Airmo is, based, is a startup based in Munich, Berlin, Luxembourg. We are 20 people in a team. We are experts in space optics, atmospheric processing, algorithms. We are experts in energy markets. We raised uh, 8 million up to date. We are supported by leading European VCs. We're a trusted partner of European Space Agency and Luxembourg Space Agency, and we're collaborating closely with corporates that are sustainably responsible, such as SAP, Total Energies, and others. And while our mission is to bring transparency into climate reporting, we see our first task as facilitation of methane mitigation. Methane is a major gas behind the climate change. It's responsible for one third of global warming. It's 86 times more powerful in comparison to CO2 in regards to global warming potential. And there's a lot of attention from governments and industry to methane. There are regulations up to date in the Western economies. There are two major blocks of regulations, one in the US and one in Europe, starting from next year. And there's a price tag and penalty on every ton of underreported, left behind ton of methane. The largest penalty this year has been announced to $241 million for the company in the US for non-compliance with existing regulations. And worldwide, there are more than 12 million assets that fall behind the regulation that are in the threat of receiving similar fines. However, what's even scarier, that 70% of methane is still underreported and no one knows where it's coming from. Why is that? Because existing methane and other trace gas measurement methods are not able to deliver precise, robust, accurate picture on our emissions. Existing systems, existing solutions, such as ground sensors, drones, airplanes, are not sufficient. They're, they're not accurate enough, not reliable enough. The data scars and distribute it. Our biggest competitor is still Excel. So most of carbon accounting and methane accounting is still done using emission coefficients and formulas. If we really want to make a change and succeed uh, in decarbonization by the deadline we set ourselves, we should do something about it. And at Airmo, yeah, we're solving this problem by building infrastructure for climate monitoring from air and space. Our unfair advantage is technology. Using our solution, uh, our customers receive global, near real time, precise and permissionless outlook on their emissions independently where assets are located. We can monitor pipeline in somewhere in the middle of nowhere in the Canada, cement factory in China, or refinery in the Middle East with the same technology, same accuracy and precision. Uh, up to date, we built several sets of instruments. Uh, we're operational on ground, on air, and soon uh, from space. The data generated by our instruments finds the place in an analytics, analytics dashboard that is an interface to our customers. And our customers are using that for inventory updates, reporting to in compliance with regulations, incidents monitoring, monitoring of leakages. Uh, our secret sauce is the technology. We build an instrument that is capable to detect, quantify, and localize emissions down to facility level with the highest possible precision. Our instrument is a combination of hyperspectral imager and LiDAR. And uh, going a bit to in details, I have to do that. I'm an engineer, so please bear with me. With a hyperspectral imager, we measure in radiance of light on the bands corresponding to methane and CO2. With LiDAR, we're correcting the measurements of spectrometer and hyperspectral imager on eye results and other noises. And that allows us, in our retrieval model, to extract concentrations and fluxes of methane and CO2 with much higher precision that, that the tools are available in the market. Uh, as our team is coming from space industry, we're building uh, on top uh, of the knowledge that has been cooked at the European Space Agency for decades. And we're very proud to be the first uh, commercial space slider. What we've done so far, we've built an instrument for the aircraft and for the ground. We've tested it with early adopters and now commercializing the sensor um, with customers. 
Uh, we plan to reach seven digit revenue next year for the aircraft service. Uh, on the other side, we're building the satellite system under European Space Agency contract. We're very proud to be a contractor of European Space Agency, and we plan to launch the first satellite in 2026. A few words about the market. Uh, we're approaching the market of environmental monitoring, which valued worldwide at almost $23 billion. We split it into three, three large groups. Uh, first is direct emitters. These are all the bad guys that emit emissions in the atmosphere. Oil and gas, chemical, petrochemical, uh, waste, cement. So anyone with direct uh, impact on the environment. Second, the group, we call it environmental intelligence, which includes banks, insurance funds, asset managers, so everyone who is investing in the first group and is concerned about the risks associated to non-compliance of these assets with regulations. And finally, regulators and governments, the ones that need the tool, badly need the tool to verify the reports and emissions coming from, again, the first group. A few words about how we're making money. Uh, our business model is uh, very close to GymPass or to Uber. Our customers are procuring yearly pools of credits with one credit equal uh, from space for one square kilometer measurement from aircraft of one kilometer and allocating these credits in space and time dependently on like, how infrastructure, the infrastructure um, is built. They can spend them yeah, for daily, weekly, monthly monitoring. Just to give you an example, monitoring of weekly monitoring of refinery of four uh, square kilometers would account to around 150,000 yearly fee, and that's similar. So something similar that German environmental agency would pay for yearly monitoring of major cities in Germany. Uh, today, AIRMO is operational in Europe and in Asia. We're flying our aircraft sensors, uh, we're installing our ground se sensors. We've been measuring emissions from coal mines. This is the picture from Hambach coal mine in Germany. We've been monitoring pipelines, refineries. We've recently monitored LNG terminals and gas stations. Um, with our sensor, our customers receive the most precise emissions data uh, already today. From uh, 2026, we plan to go globally with our first satellite launch, and we're planning to get, deliver near real-time data from space and from aircraft from 2029, when we'll deploy the complete constellation of 12 satellites into space. And just, I want to conclude with some yeah, big numbers. Uh, regulations are reality. It's really great that governments take care of emissions. Um, and equip us with tools and resources and uh, yeah, penalize the ones that do not take care about emissions. If the regulations are in place this year, would have been in place last year in the US, only top 25 oil and gas producers would have been penalized for $1.5 billion. Yeah, that's... If they would be using our service, that would have been yeah, eight times uh, less expensive for them. Uh, thank you so much. Um, at AIRMO, we are looking at the climate change, at the coordination problem of managing transition on the scale of the planet. And as a humankind, we've been quite successful of managing different types of processes. And at AIRMO, we believe that we can also manage this one if we support ourselves with precise data and we rely on data. Thank you.